Hi, I'm Crystal, and this is Art with Crystal. Today, we're going to make some art and talk about some art, like usual. So yes, I am, for this pretentious art video, wearing a Bud Light t-shirt. You know what? Maybe that's the closest thing I have to a football t-shirt, or whatever you call that, a jersey. <laughs> Maybe I'm supporting some football players right now, protesting some things, so pick that. And also, you can drink whatever beer you want. In my last video, uh, I talked about how, for me, painting is kind of a process of creation and destruction. I was kind of thinking about that, and it made me think about Gerhard Richter, who, for those of you who don't know, was an abstract expressionist, still alive and well. Um, I think he's in his 80s. Uh, he's a German painter. He's known for not sticking to one style. He says it's more interesting to be insecure and to not be just doing the same thing that you always do. In my opinion, everything he does is awesome no matter which style he's painting in or working in. And I'm particularly thinking about uh, his abstract paintings where he scrapes paints across the canvas. You can watch YouTube videos. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos about him. Pretty much every art museum has some of his work. I don't think I've ever seen a Richter piece that I didn't like. And he's also a great artist to talk about on this channel uh, because he's basically experimenting, I guess, and not being afraid of uh, try new things, and that's what this channel is all about. Try new things with art <laughs> and whatever else I feel like doing. But I've also been reading this book that I bought during this thought process, <laughs> which is Gerhard Richter Writings, 1961 through 2007. There's a lot of really good information here. You feel like a little light reading, you know? It's only like 600 pages, so it's not so bad. Another thing I like about Richter is that he paints from photos with no shame, <laughs> which I also usually paint from photos. Um, a lot of artists don't, but some do. Don't let people tell you to not paint from photos. If you want to paint from photos, just paint from photos. As Richter says, it saves time. <laughs> if you don't want to spend a month in front of the same canvas, well, maybe you want to. I don't like to. As I mentioned with the creation destruction aspect from my last painting, I'm gonna expand on that a little bit, kind of focus specifically on that part of the process. Um, and since it's related to this Richter technique, I'm gonna kind of use that. And mine's just gonna be experimental. So I'm going to be painting like a, I guess like a landscape. It's a parking lot. <laughs> you can call it a landscape, I guess. I will. Um, I took this photo the other night. It was raining. I just thought it looked cool. It's kind of hard to know where to start. I don't want to mess it up, but I think I just kind of have to get over that feeling and just do something. <laughs> and if it doesn't work, do something else. So I'm going to use this. <laughs> it's a pencil case. You can see I've used it before for similar things. I'm going to do a little bit of time to start because it's what I want to expect really. anticlimactic at the moment. <laughs> the fun thing about this kind of stuff as compared to a realism style is that there's not a certain point where it looks right. It's just you just go until you think it looks good enough.
touched up some of the details so that it stands out a little more from the more abstract paint. Now I'm just putting a few more colors on top. I don't know, I think it looks alright for an experiment. I might go back in and do some more later, but I think this is like the main idea. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe for more comments or like the video if you did indeed like it. Or even if you didn't like it, you can just hit like.